Hey, how do you doodly do? In the previous episode you could see us having quite a rough sail from the Greek island Hydra to Milos, where we arrived after dark. In this episode we do some boat wash and explore the island of Milos. Please help us by subscribing, liking and commenting on this video. I will pick one of the commenters below who will receive a Sail Mermaid t-shirt in your mail. This is the short version of this video. Patrons may enjoy an extended version. If you want to join our team, then check out patreon.com slash sailmermaid for more. So, come along! So Inga from Sweden, yes. what are your thoughts of the sailing last night or yesterday? It was a beautiful cruise. Yes? A walk in the park? A walk in the park. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm lying. I'm lying my ass up here. It was rough. Yes? Pretty rough, yeah. We, uh, we had some waves and some winds. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel too nauseous all the time, at least. <laughs> but you did feel it? I did feel it. Yes. Especially like when going underneath yeah. uh, to get something or uh, whenever like being in, in a down, downward position when I'm like fetching stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, no. But uh, now I'm good. Now you're good, yeah? This is the wave that I can handle, you see? <laughs> <laughs> so you had a good night's sleep? Yeah, yeah. If I hadn't taken that Red Bull, I would have slept like a baby, but unfortunately I did. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, yesterday we had, uh, we had some uh, really strong winds coming on really fast to us. Uh, I was actually laying down and uh, going to rest a little bit, and then I felt that, oh, the wind is getting stronger and I get up and it just gets stronger and stronger and stronger and then for the only time yesterday that we had traffic around us with big ships then it was gusting up to 32 knots and I went up against the wind and uh, trying to uh, to get some sails in and get some reefs in and it was a little bit scary because this came a little too quick on us and it wasn't expected and uh, I hadn't prepared prepared her in any way, so were you scared? Mm, I felt quite safe hanging around here, but I, if I were to do some any kind of operation on the deck, yeah, I would have um, considered at least having a life jacket on. Yeah, uh, we had a, a lot of jumping up and down and going up against the waves, and of course, when you're trying to reef, the way this boat is set up with only one set of winches on the back. You have to release the Genoa, uh, the Genoa sheets, uh, to, to furl in the, the roll. Mm. And you get a lot of slamming from the sails, so it, it's, it's loud. It is loud, it is loud. And like, hold this one! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of expecting like getting tossed overboard from holding on, but uh, it was fine. Yeah. I think you man we managed good. Yeah. I mean, we're here now. And nothing is looks to be broken, so oh. I think it's success. Yes. <laughs> and we came in here uh, if after dark. It was around 11 o'clock, I think. Somewhere around there, So yeah. it was pitch black around us. We had a few stars on the sky. It was a beautiful sky. Uh, but we couldn't see much, so it's kind of nice waking up in the morning and you see a totally different landscape and you didn't really know what to expect. Very much true. Yeah. So, looking forward to seeing more of Milos. Yes, we're going in to take water and hopefully also get to clean the boat a little bit and ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was so salty last night, I didn't fancy my own company, so I had to jump in just to <laughs> have a bath before I went to bed. <laughs> yeah, we were um, sprayed a couple of times yesterday. Yes. So everything on the boat is salty right now, <laughs> actually both outside and inside. <laughs> so we have a little bit of cleaning to do, but first we have to wake up properly. But I, I can't 
Ja. <laughs> Ready to get wet? Ja, da. I think everybody should have a Swedish Inga. Yeah, that's really nice. Excellent taking. Yeah, good. So this man, he just traded the power. With my big hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just to prove that I'm not the only asshole. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. So. So. Where are we now, and what are we doing here? We have um, <coughs> walked so long. It was a walk like 30 seconds from out of here. Yes. Here. We're super hungry, and that's. This was the kind of like the first. Yes. Even though it's kind of concerning that there's no one else here. I think you have a new friend there. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. So we have managed to clean the boat, and um, we have washed some clothes. We have been uh, slacking a lot, yes. and now we're hungry as fuck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this was a very interesting wine. Shall I? I mean, it is drinkable, it's not it's, bad. It's a third sip, but it's like, it doesn't get better. No. The thing about this rose wine that we got here is that when you first put it in your mouth, it's good. Then you swallow and it tastes like shit. It's, it's almost like it's salted. I don't know. Vinegary. 
Mm -hmm. Alright. So yes, what are we doing? We are doing something crazy. We rented a bike. <laughs> yes. Especially the bike stand. The bike stand. <laughs> I'm but, so cool. I'm yeah, but this was so beautiful, I had to film it. Look here, look here. Look. Ooh. It's deep too. What an experience, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice riding a bike again. Really good. And it was uh, fantastic views of the island, so... Good call. Indeed. Yeah. Little bumpy road. So... Better luck this time? It's a cute bottle. I don't trust the wine they have served here. We have to give it a chance. Uh, it's, it's screw cork. It's a screw one. It's fake sparkling wine. <laughs> I must have the best mermaid on the boat. You know what? She just went to the stores and bought me breakfast. So now I got Kinder Egg, uh, Kinder Chocolate, and Coca Cola. That's the way to start the day. But the beauty of this morning didn't last for long. Right after this, the ferry came in at full speed, and in these shallow waters, it made massive swells that made my boat lean over starboard, while the other boat next to me was on the high wave and was leaning over mine. I am so sad I didn't get this on video because it's hard to describe the situation that happened in front of me. I was sure the other boat was gonna sink mine. It was crazy, but luckily it seems the only damage done was bending this pole. Well, that's it for this episode. Please give it a like and leave a comment below as it helps me a lot. If you are new here, then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. 
It will be the most beautiful surroundings I've been in so far, so stay tuned for more. A thank you very big to all my patrons who support the making of these videos, especially my gold supporters Peter, Marco, Bob Herzog and Raymond Pembroke. Thank you very much and thank you for watching. Bye bye.